So I just scraped out some pumpkin seeds and I have quite a few of them here out of two pie pumpkins uh, to make my granddaughter some pumpkin butter. But you don't want to throw these seeds away. Um, pumpkin seeds are delicious toasted. You can actually add them to um, granola if you make your own granola. I actually bought some granola that had pumpkin seeds in it. Um, pumpkin seeds are a natural anti-parasitic. So they have, do have medicinal purposes, um, medicinal value. And they're just delicious as a snack. So today we're going to take those seeds and we're going to wash them and we're going to toast them. Um, I did this as a separate video so that people could access it if they're just wanting to know about the seeds as opposed to the pumpkin butter. So I separated these two videos. So let's get our seeds washed. Getting the seeds out of a pumpkin along with all the, I call it pumpkin guts, I don't know. That's about the hardest part of making pumpkin butter or getting the seeds to toast. Um, we're going to dump them. I have a nice little strainer basket here. And we're going to put them in there and we're going to run some water, just some cool water over them. And start rinsing them. And get, the, get them separated from the pumpkin guts and just take that part out so we have just the seeds left. This is a great way to, um, you know, use the seeds because they're so delicious. And like I said, they're an anti-parasitic. A lot of times people save these and um, feed them to their chickens and their pigs and Farmers always throw their extra pumpkins to their animals so that uh, they will have the seeds as an anti-parasitic. So we're going to keep washing these and once we get them done, we're going to let them dry. And as soon as I finish that, I'll be back and we'll go on to the next step. In the meantime, we're going to get all this yellow stuff out. All right, so my pumpkin seeds are nice and clean, and I'm just going to put them in this tray with a dish towel um, and let them sit there and dry for a little bit. My oven's being used to cook my pumpkins anyway, so it's not, they need, but they need to dry out because we're going to toss them with a little bit of oil and some seasonings, so we're just going to let those sit there and spread them out so they can dry nicely and once they're dry we'll finish we'll add some stuff to them they'll make them delicious so i'm pulling them off that towel and putting them here into the bowl um, i have the seeds here from the two pumpkins that you saw me making pumpkin butter out of you can actually, when you're carving your Halloween pumpkin, if that's what you do, um, you can save the seeds out of that and do that as well. And it doesn't even have to be pumpkin seeds. You can actually do this with any squash seed. Um, so, I mean, winter squash seed. So, uh, your yellow squash and any of the others that have these big, nice seeds in them, you can save the seeds out of and toast them. And as I told you, it's a great anti-parasitic. They're full of magnesium, they're full of zinc, so they're extremely healthy. Okay, let's get rid of that towel. Okay, now I have my pumpkin seeds, and they're very dry. That's why I let them sit overnight. You don't really want, um, check to be sure you don't have pieces of pumpkin in there. You do not want moist pumpkin seeds, because if you have moist pumpkin seeds, they're not going to toast up like we want them. Okay, so we're going to put on here about a... About two teaspoons, I'll measure it out here. I don't like to measure, but we'll measure just for the sake of olive oil in there. I'm going to do these pretty basic with salt and pepper. Um, you can use all kinds of seasonings. You can use cumin. Uh, you can use ranch seasoning. You can use pepper, uh, cayenne. You can do all kinds of things. but. I'm making these for one of my granddaughters that's in college, and uh, she likes salt and pepper. Her and I both do. So we're going to put two teaspoons of salt in there, and we're going to put one teaspoon of cracked pepper. Sprinkle that around. 
and we're going to toss those. I do have my oven pre preheating on 350, so you want to get all of these seeds coated with the oil and the salt and the pepper and get that dispersed evenly because the oil is what's going to help these to toast up really nicely. And these smell so good when you're baking them. All right, now that I've got those stirred around pretty evenly, we're going to put those onto our baking sheet. I put a piece of parchment paper down. You don't have to, but I did. And we're going to spread these out. We don't really want them overlapping. We want them really thin so that they get toasty and golden. Those look so delicious. Okay. I'm going to make them pretty thin. Some of them are going to be a little bit off the paper, but that's okay. And this is a pizza pan that was my grandma's when I was a little girl. She had this, she made us pizzas on it a lot. And uh, I got those. Okay, so here's our pumpkin seeds. Our oven has heated to 350 and we're going to put these in here and depending on your size of pumpkin seeds it could take 5 to, for really big pumpkin seeds it could take up to 20 minutes but I'm going to set my timer and check them after 10. Okay it's been 24 minutes. I've reset my timer because I kept checking them and these are nice toasty brown and crunchy. That's exactly what we want. So we're going to let these sit out and cool. All right, so our pumpkin seeds have cooled down and they're nice and toasty and brown and salty, crunchy, and delicious. I'm going to put these in an airtight container. Um, I'll eat a few of them, but I'm going to save some for my granddaughter and take to her when I go visit her at school. So anyway, I hope you try the pumpkin seeds uh, full of magnesium, zinc, antiparasitic, and they're absolutely delicious. In fact, they would be a good substitute for popcorn, um, and all these had was salt and pepper. But if you like this video, please like, subscribe, and share. Thanks for joining me.